How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night, that's for sure. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line, raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. This one's shot, too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. Like what? Like what might tell us who did this. this doing here? Can I help? I got it. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissing match. 
What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Cause they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. It's what I'd do. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. with Krista, the woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. Please. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo! Come this way! Bitch! Damn it! You get your asses over here, both I'll of you! I'll cover you! We gotta get out of here! Get over here, god damn it! Can't you listen to me once? Just one time? I've got ammo! Listen to me! Come on! What are 
are you gonna do? Someone's outside. Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. dead. Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about coal. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. What are you looking at? Staring ain't polite. 
Come on out and say it. What are you going to do? Hand me that there. Bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Hell. Just... Just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. It's empty. <coughs> Damn. I'll keep looking around. What's in there? Anything we can use? Give me one of those. Probably tastes like pine tar by now, but I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. Hand it here. Will you show me how to do it? Hell no. Why not? Ellen Breslin. San Bernardino Borden School, June 63. One pack and I was hooked. <laughs> that broad. Couldn't kiss worth a damn. Got a light? <laughs> well, that tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? <sighs> we wait. Ten pounds of shit in a five pound sack. <coughs> Jesus. Stuck in this can the whole damn day. You want to hear something funny? I've been thinking. And I don't want to die. <coughs> Oh, 
I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that. But there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. Everyone ends up like this. Yeah, you never think it's gonna happen to you. Would you... Would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. He's been playing a tough hand, but he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Been almost a day. They ain't gonna find us. Where are you going? I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. You're coming with me. To do what? Die a couple hours later than now? To say goodbye to Nick. All right. I'll try. Well, like my daddy used to say, <clears throat> we're burning daylight. Let's get this over with. Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her and don't tell her anything. She gets nervous. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Please? Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad?
Mom, you're scaring me. They're just... fishing. I know that's not true. Sorry, I, I, I just need to... You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Nobody tells me anything. Okay, but it's not a toy. I know. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay, what do I do? The most important thing is, when you go to shoot, take a breath before you pull the trigger. <sighs> Not that big. <sighs> what should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s -s sorry sory Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back! That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Shh. Hello? Get out of here, now. Is that how your dad taught you to greet a neighbor? I've got a gun. A smart girl. I would too. But I'm not a bad guy, honey. Promise you that. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? Would you please leave? This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. I'm alone. Really? Yeah. I take care of myself. Well, I'm impressed. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. I saw them. They're dead. You saw who? Where? Down by the river the other day. Walkers got them. I'm sorry. <laughs> the river? You sure about that? Pretty sure. Well, no offense, but I guess that wasn't them. Because the ones I'm looking for are very careful people. If you say so.
A lot of plates for one person. Looks like a tornado ran through here. I don't ever do the dishes. Hey, well, believe me, I don't either. Just passing through, or you been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Now, I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Hell, I just got here, and I already don't want to leave. Just passing through. Going north. Whole lot of people headed that way lately. Me, I don't get it. There's just as much nothing up there as there is down here. And I can't stand that Yankee weather. Who have you met going north? Oh, hell, a lot of folks. Anyone named Krista? No, not that I can recall. She a friend of yours? Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. I miss him. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. Well, they told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. 
You calm down! We don't know anything yet. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? Yeah, but I think he was lying. What? I thought he said his name was George. George? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? How old was he? He had a mustache. Like mine, or more like Alvin's? Um, it was droopy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Uh, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy, or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. Alright, uh, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. Alright, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah... He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now, with the pregnancy and all. You and Alvin can probably relate. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him, if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. Uncle Pete! Pete!
Oh my god. W what happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. The last thing he said was he wanted to say goodbye to you. Fuck. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. I don't have anywhere else to go. Well then, welcome to the party. Yeah, thanks. We're, uh, we're smarter than we look. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beth. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. Here, eat this back. But we're almost out of food. We gotta save it. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? It must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I mean, hell, if she can sew up her own arm, she's fit to cross a bridge. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just I could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. 
They're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? I don't want to upset her. Me neither. Hmm. Can't shoot them. Too much noise. But there are only two. I don't know. Let's take them. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. I think. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. Come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <clears throat> nice work, kid. <clears throat> Ow. something out. Clem. Well, 
Let's keep going. You see him? Yeah. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. What? Why me? Because I don't want to get in a fight. I mean, you really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. And don't tell him anything. What should I say? I don't know. Ask him for directions. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. We're a little lost. Lost, huh? Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. You run into a lot of assholes. We're just people. Fair enough. You folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. You all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Do you know Carver? Carver? Like George Washington Carver? The peanut guy? What? He's a man. Never heard of him. But no, I want some peanut butter, though. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 he's, he's with us. Nick! No! Put it down! Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Shut up, Nick. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't... Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. You could use a little downsizing. You're one to talk. Sure.
Thanks, Clem. Rebecca, are you okay? I'm all right. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. to kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He seemed nice. Damn. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. That's all I had left of him. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. The man said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. <clears throat> I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. Feels pretty good. I guess he slept here. It's dead. Man, and I thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He's out of control. That's what I'm saying. He keeps on like that, he's gonna get one of us killed. I mean, you ever known anyone to do a thing like that? Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she just shot this other woman. Damn. 
What you do? We left her behind. Damn. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group, but I've got to put Beck and the baby first. Rebecca can have it. I won't say anything. Thanks, Clementine. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. waiting for we have to be careful careful we've been on the road for five days my back is done being careful doesn't look like anybody's home damn nailed down tight I'll check around front I'll go with you well it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. Made of steel. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? You just told me not to look. Good point. Made it. You see anything? I can see the bridge. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Kenny! Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? <laughs> A 
I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guest here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm... Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? I got him killed. What? It was my fault. Oh, darling, don't say that. I know that ain't true. He made a choice. Same as the rest of us. He was a hell of a guy. When my son... Well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid... Well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. 
Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. But Kenny, well, he never slows down. It's a long story. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. It's hard enough as an adult. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Looks... great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Crazy. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. Reminds me of school. We could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. I haven't seen one of these since...
What a funny little guy. Crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. Yeah, yeah. I think someone was following us. How do you know? How does she know? We have to assume they're back there. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. Something's wrong. They have the same kind of food that we found in the station. What? That doesn't mean anything. It could have been stolen. What if it wasn't? Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. It's not gonna be easy. I know it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? It's okay. We're gonna get you something soon. Can I? She's gonna be a runner. It's not his. Well, how do you know? I just do. We were trying for so long, and, and then... If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. I... I wouldn't say anything. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're gonna eat? I love you, silly bear. I hate it when you call me that. I know, but I mean it. I love you too. You get some rest now. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. So I call him Maddie now. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, 
Does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. He does seem different than I remember. In what way? I'm not sure. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat.